Now I have the distinct honor and the privilege of introducing your next speaker. Please don't cut his time short because I know I went long. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in introducing Steve White, president and special counsel to the CEO at Comcast Cable, the author of Uncompromising, How an Unwavering Commitment to Your Why Leads to an Impactful Life and a Lasting Legacy. Please join me in All right, here we my go. brother Steve. <laughs> nice job. Man. Good morning. I don't need it, nope. I have no slides, it's just me. So this is a very energetic crowd. So if I say something you like, can somebody give me an amen? amen. That was not very good. You can do hallelujah if you're from the north. Can I hear hallelujah? All right, so let's do amen and hallelujah together. On three, we're gonna do amen. One, two, three. Amen. All right, let's do hallelujah. This group up here is struggling, but that's, that's okay. I'm kidding. I like you guys. On three. One, two, three. Hella. Hallelujah. All right. Uncompromising is viewed as a bad word. Not always. We're taught early in life to compromise, to find ways to make it work. I've been married a long time. Can I get an amen for compromising marriage? <laughs> Don't tell my wife I said that. <laughs> just between us but when is uncompromising a good thing Mark Twain says the two most important days in our life is the day you're born and the second is when you know why let me say that again because that was a good time for an amen and I didn't get one <laughs> the two most important days in your life is the day you're born, and the second is when you know why. The <laughs> now you're patronizing me, but that's okay. <laughs> the reason I'm here with you today is I'm living my why. My why is how can I help create a table of prosperity for as many people as possible? Because I was one of those kids that didn't have a table, that didn't have a seat, didn't even know that there was a game being played, but others created that opportunity for me. So my challenge to you today, while we're enjoying ourselves, having fun, enjoying New York City, five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, are you walking your walk? Are you living your why? Are you being the best that you can be? Studies have been done that in our lifetime, we will meet five or six people every day that we don't know. At the Starbucks counter, at the airport, at this conference. So at the end of the day, I want you to visualize a stadium. I live in Denver. And we have a stadium called Mile High Stadium. We haven't played football there for six years, but that's another story. <laughs> oh, you know I'm telling the truth. We're trying to play now. At the end of your life, ladies and gentlemen, there will be 80,000 people in that stadium that you've met that you've interacted with, that you've spent time with them, and they will be doing one of three things. They will be cheering, Steve, 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 Steve. Or they will be booing, that son of a, or worse, or worse, or worse. They're saying nothing because the impact has not been there. Footprints, fingerprints, nowhere to be found. My challenge to you is what is your why? Why are you here? What will they be saying about you in that stadium 
that they don't play football in, what will they say? Now, we're living in difficult times, recession, uh, reset, uh, quiet quitting, and all of those things. Great leaders are revealed during these difficult times. Martin Luther King, John F. Kennedy, uh, Winston Churchill, Abraham Lincoln. All during difficult times, they are revealed and defined. So just because the times are difficult, this is your time. Amen. This is all right. Thanks, Mom. One, one. <laughs> Thank you. This is when leaders are revealed. This is your time. Don't be distracted by all the noise. This is your time. Because if a little kid that grew up in the housing projects of Indianapolis, Indiana, with a single mother, eighth grade education who raised four knucklehead boys. They're all taxpayers now. If she can do it, and we can do it, and I could be here on this stage with you today, there's nothing that's impossible. This is your time. So I wanna talk briefly because we know Y'all are really here to party, so I want to make sure my comments are to the point so y'all can go do what you do. <laughs> and people like me go back to Denver. How do you create a life of impact, success, so those 80,000 men and women that are there for you are cheering your name. Step one, you have to answer that important question. Why am I here? I share with you my fight. My fight was birth because I got fired. My why, I thought, was to never be in poverty ever again, to ensure my family was never in poverty again. That's what I thought my why was. And so I focused on me. It was all about me. And fortunately, at a very young age, I got fired. And someone grabbed me by the shoulder and said, Steve, I see more in you than you see in yourself. But if you continue to only serve you, you will not reach your full potential. Amen. So I dedicated myself that I will invest in others. And here's what happened. The more I invested in others, because here's a cable kit that started with a company called TCI. Anybody in here remember TCI or are you too young? Okay, we got a few old people in here, perfect. All right, this is great. I'm sorry, old school, I, I came out wrong. We go to, we get bought by a company called AT&T Broadband. Does anybody remember AT&T Broadband? And then we got bought by a company called Comcast. Has anybody ever heard of Comcast in this room? How do you go from TCI to AT&T Broadband and still at Comcast and make it to the highest levels? That's when you say, Steve, you're a bad dude, but that's not, that's right. <laughs> because the more I invested in others, they pushed me up. They pushed me up so I got noticed. And so when AT&T and then Comcast were making decisions, my people were saying, wait a minute, let me just tell you about this guy named Steve. And let me tell you what he did when it was dark. You cannot overinvest in others. And so the more I invested, the more they pushed me up. So why are you here? What is your why? What is your purpose? 
Because the only way you get energy to deal with all of this craziness is you know you're living your purpose. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Don't leave a brother hanging. Give me something. Is everybody with me? Yeah. Number two, focus on the real prize. Don't get distracted by sideshows. Look over here. No, no, I'm going to stay focused here. That's what I'm going to focus on. One of the organizations I serve is a group called New Leaders. We focus on leadership development for public school principals. While COVID is going on, ladies and gentlemen, all the noise is over here, but over here we're losing generations that are not being educated because they've been out of school for a year and a half. Let's not get focused here. Here's what's really happening. So as you think about your journey, don't get lost with all the sideshows. Number three, life is about a learning lab. Every opportunity has to be about you learning against your why. I love the fact that you're here. You're on that journey. You're the committed. Just make sure you're channeling that learning. Number four, people say, Steve, who do you work for? I usually say Barbita White, my wife, but let's not go there. <laughs> I work for Steve White Incorporated. Comcast purchases my services and I'm glad, I'm happy, but I never lose sight. I am chairman and CEO of Steve White Incorporated. I have two shareholders, wife Barbita and a little boy named Stevie, who's nine years old now, and we share the same birthday. Isn't that a miracle? They're my two shareholders, and maybe a half a shareholder because they're working on me for a little dog. So, so if you have any suggestions, send me a dog that does not shed, that does not need to be walked, that sleeps all the time. I'm your man. Send me notes. Send me ideas. Can I get an amen for a dog that sleeps all the time? Think and act like a business. That is an investment mindset. You don't work for somebody else, you work for yourself. Doesn't mean you don't love your company or like your company, but you're investing in you. Number five, the only thing I can control is my attitude and effort. In my lifetime, I'm 25 now, in my lifetime, <laughs> you're not supposed to laugh at that part. In my lifetime, there are only 12 decisions that I've made that have really mattered. The most important one that I learned from my mother, who's still with us, who just turned 82 on October 1st. <clears throat> and cries every time she comes to see her little boys. Yeah, we're still her little boys. Is I'm not gonna be a victim. I was perfectly set up to be the perfect victim. No father, housing projects, Mom with very little education. She was a high school janitor for 35 years, perfectly set up to be a victim. Attitude and effort. Have I been punched in the stomach in my career? Absolutely. Have I lost out on opportunities? You bet. 66% of women today do not feel they're gonna advance or improve in their career. I know what that feels like but I will not be defeated. Number six, navigate uncertainty. And then number seven is develop road dog relationships. Now, some of the people that didn't grow up like I did don't know what a road dog is. A road dog is a fight breaks out, your road dog jumps in and helps you. Somebody know I'm speaking the truth. Somebody better holler out right now. A road dog is a fight breaks out. Now, I'm not promoting fighting, but a fight breaks out. They jump in and they ask questions. What? After the fight. I don't want a friend that says, now, why are we in this now? What's going on? What did you do? How did you piss that person off? That's not what we're trying to do. So who are your road dogs? Who are your truth tellers that you have around you that tell you the truth when you're not at your best? Who jack you up when you need to be jacked up? 
Who are your truth tellers? You show me somebody that does not have friends that have been with them a long time. That makes me nervous. You need people around you that will be honest with you and truthfully tell you if you're on the right track, but do it in a way where they enhance your dreams versus pull them down. I'm gonna wrap up because I gotta go. I gotta go find a dog. <laughs> Number one, what is your fight? Number two, how do you stay focused on the real prize and don't get distracted by these sideshows? How are you living life as a learning lab? Are you truly running your own company? Are you CEO of you incorporated? How is your attitude and effort? Check yourself. Navigate uncertainty and who are your road dog relationships? 80,000 people are in a stadium. What are they saying? Are they cheering? Are they booing? Or worse, did you have no impact? I'm confident. I'm confident that won't be the case. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me today. So, if you want to follow me, uh, I'm on social media, you know, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all of those. I have a website, stevewhitespeaks.com. My new book came out on March 8th. I'll be signing uh, copies of the book uh, afterwards if you're interested. Uh, but thank you for listening, and I look forward to seeing you in that Mile High Stadium where they don't play football. All right.